Hey, what's up, y'all? So the other day I came across this video of this uh, young man talking about he wanted to try to date this woman. And I guess upon dating her or speaking with her, she hit him with the 90 day rule. Meaning that for 90 days, she's not having sex with him. So he tur in turn turn around and give her a 90 day rule saying that he not gonna spend no money on her for the, for the first 90 days. You know, first off, let me point out, that's hilarious. Um, Cause he, usually I've, I've never heard a man say that. Like you hit me with the 90 day rule. All right, cool. I ain't finna spend no money on you for 90 days. Like how that feel? But um, to kind of touch on that, man, it, it, it's crazy because anytime somebody has rules like that, it's like you're getting advice or game from somebody and you're not naturally being yourself. My thing is you're using a 90 day rule. So SEX must be the, the, the best thing you, you have to provide. It must be the highest value in your mind because you're holding it against me. So I have to wait. I have to wait on a probation child. Meanwhile, you didn't always have this rule. So that means you didn't gave it out to someone before, but now that you didn't got burnt, you feel like this is my only thing that can help me get a good relationship is I gotta give you the 90 day rule. Three months. Think about that, three months. Think about how crazy that is. Three months, so anybody that is following a structured set of rules, I don't really wanna be around them because it's like, yo, like, that's that's such a turn off. Like, just be yourself. If you feeling it, then you feeling it. If you're not feeling it, you're not feeling it. All this 90 day rules you got, that that's, what is that? First, let me just say this, fellas. If a woman comes to you and hits you with a 90 day rule, what that lady say? She don't like you. Cause I guarantee, and for all the people that saying, oh, well maybe she has values and morals and this, I guarantee you at some point in that woman's life, she didn't let a man hit on the first night. So if she hitting you with all of these, you know, restrictions or requirements, talking about a 90 day rule, no sex, she playing the game. She playing. Hey, just like I said, I just said the same thing. She's playing that game. Anybody that hits me with a 90 day rule or you gotta take me to five dates before this happens or any of that type of stuff, I'm not really rocking with that like that because clearly you're using that as a tactic, but it's like, yo, like, and like she said, I understand some people might be using that as values and morals. And I can understand people who are religious, right? But other than that, man, get out of my face with all of that. I, I'm not rocking with that. Because to me, that sounds like you're playing some type of manipulation to extract what you want. And the game is she's trying to see how far she can go, how much she can get with, you know, without giving up anything or without doing anything, doing the bare minimum to get the maximum return. It's a game. It's a game that women play or that people play when they're really not interested in you. Because honestly, if there was natural chemistry or a connection there, there wouldn't be no game. You ain't got to put up no bunch of rules. And that's the thing. If I, if, if I was her dream crush, if I was Chris Brown or Drake or whoever she likes, right? If I was her dream crush and she really liked me, you think she going to... You, do you think that girl's gonna hit Chris Brown with a 90 day rule? Do you, I mean, like, like, come on now, like, do you think she gonna hit Drake with a 90 day rule? So you gotta put it, you gotta learn how to put things in perspective because when a woman really likes you, the rules go out the window. But when she doesn't like you, there's rules. There's a long list of rules. Everybody knows, knows that's how it is. Women make it difficult for guys they don't want and they make it easy for guys that they do want. So she's just giving it 90 days because like she said in the video, she's trying to give the bare minimum to try to get the maximum outcome. And to me, that's lazy, that's 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 not cool. I don't wanna be around somebody that has structural rules like that because to me, it's just like, come on, man. Like you're putting SCX as the most valuable thing you have to offer. And to me, I'm sex is not the most valuable thing a woman should have to offer. That That's just my personal opinion the restrictions when anybody comes to you and they got these bylaws and this list of rules and regulations on how things gonna go they not really interested in you like that they just trying to see how far they can go and how much they can get without doing any to little bit to, uh, to nothing and those type of people honestly at some point in their life they didn't had they didn't allow somebody a woman that's talking about a 90 day rule she didn't get smashed on the first night by somebody it just ain't gonna be from you and guarantee you, you didn't probably talk yourself out of getting whatever it is that you want. I mean, but I know she's saying that 
you know, there's been women out there that let dudes smash on the first night. That does not mean you stop dealing with a chick because you ain't hit on the first night. I'm saying it's all about progression. It's all about progression. And you have to pay attention to a woman's action. If things are not progressing to where you want it to go, then you will know when to leave. Like for instance, if you if you haven't kissed a woman by at least a second time that you hung out with her and she's still kind of tripping off of that, well, that's an indication that maybe she doesn't like you like that because women kiss dudes that they like. To be honest, a lot of people or a lot of women see kissing more intimate, more intimate than SEX. If she's not even kissing you by the second time y'all didn't hung out, you can see that she's playing some type of game. So it's all about progression. And you can't expect to hit on the first night. It's just that it's kind of cliche now, to be honest with. Now it can happen, but for me, I'm not gonna lie to y'all, that doesn't even happen a lot to me. Like for me, it's usually by the second or third time we hang out. Usually the first time is kind of y'all feeling each other out or whatever, but 90 days is extreme. Like, you know what I'm saying? I don't even, I don't even wanna hear about that. Talking yourself out of it, you will have the opportunity to go out on a date with a woman that you so-called interested in. And all you do is talk about yourself. All you do is talk about your money that you didn't spend, the places you've gone, the little mentally ill celebrities that you clout chase with. You know what I'm saying? Like you, you, you think that the more you talk about yourself and what you spend material wise or what you own makes you, I guess, more appealing. No, that puts you in a position for a female to think like, man, if that's all he care about, all he care about is, is his money and his material shit, I'm going to try to get some. Then there you go calling women gold diggers. But you set yourself up to be tricked like that because that's all you do is talk about your money, your car, you want to be seen in all your whips. You come to the, to the date dripped in your designer and that's fine. I'm just saying that you sometimes can talk too much woman that you're interested in if you really want to know if she like you for you and not trying to go dig or trying to get what you got or playing any games come to that date in that h&m outfit something plain some regular just nice no i, I kind of like where she's going with that um she's basically just saying like you you want to give the less to, and i say this all the time you want to give the less amount of resources in the beginning to kind of see what she's there for like for me since it's coming down to summertime and things like that I, like my first date, we're gonna go for a walk in the park or something simple. Because if you say no to that, I know that you're not here for me. You're here for what I can provide. And again, going back to the dude she was talking about, like as a man, your first instinct, if you don't know any better, when we, cause I used to do this too, going on dates, you kind of talking about your accomplishments and yeah, I did this and I did that. You trying to impress her. Anytime you come with that mindset, like she said, you're only gonna attract gold diggers. That's why I have an issue with these dudes who talk about, oh, you need money to get women. You need No, you should. Them dudes should be saying you need money to attract gold diggers. <laughs> so that's the thing. Never try to prove yourself to a woman. You know what I'm saying? You got to you got to validate yourself. You got to believe in yourself. When you're on a date with a woman, y'all should be talking about things that, you know what I'm saying? You should be asking her questions about things she's interested in. You know, this is these are basic communication skills. Shout out to How to Win Friends and Influence People by Dale Carnegie. Great book. And that book, he talks about like, you know, when you are talking to somebody, make it about them because then they're gonna feel like, man, this person cares about me. So the same thing in dating. We're on a date, make it about them, not about you and your designer clothes and that you drive a, you know what I'm saying, AMG, uh, Mercedes and all this different type of stuff. And you got a condo downtown in the city. We don't, she don't wanna hear about all that because if, if you start saying all of that, she's going to be thinking in her head, okay, what can I get from this? It's all about believing in yourself, man. Forget all that 90 day rule crap. If she hits you with a 90 day rule, dip. All right, guys, that's my video for today, man. I appreciate you guys for coming over to the channel, of course, as usual. Um, shout out to all my new subscribers, guys. Make sure you continue to share the content, like it, and I'm gone.